It is the 6th of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. We're going to start in Israel, where we have a nuclear event. Swarms of jellyfish threaten to shut down the Orat Rabin nuclear power plant in Hadira, Israel. The jellyfish are blocking the plant's water supply, interrupting the cooling process. Have we heard this story before? Workers have been removing the jellyfish to prevent the reactors from being shut down. Last week, a nuclear power station in eastern Scotland had to shut down its reactors after jellyfish blocked its seawater filter screens. And they have a BBC News video, of course. <clears throat> Over to... Let's do um, the energy news now. A Japanese professor, soil contamination is spreading in the city of Fukushima, Japan, 60 kilometers from Fukushima plant. Evacuations must be conducted as soon as possible. All soil samples taken 60 kilometers from Fukushima plant survey exceed legal limit. And now this is the uh, new raised legal limit that their government has put out. Minimum of 326,000 Becquerels per square meter. Forty-five percent of kids in Fukushima City survey had thyroid exposure to radiation, up to 50 millisieverts per year, equivalent for one-year-old. Scary, scary stuff coming out of uh, Japan right now. Residents are forced to dump nuclear waste in parks and forests. Now these people are cleaning up their own yards, scrubbing their own houses, and what they're doing with this waste is, is they're burying it in public parks and public forests. And uh, there is no set plan from the government for this major cleanup. And um, this stuff's just piling up and uh, accumulating, accumulating. Again, they cannot stop the leak of information coming out of Japan, just how bad it is. And uh, over to earthchangesscott.net, we have a volcano in Iceland, the Hekla Volcano, H-E-K-L-A, unusual activity. Meters around Mount Hekla in southern Iceland have shown unusual activity in recent days. The Public Safety Commission has been alerted. According to the RUV Public Radio, there is no reason for action as of now. The movements have been recorded in, in five very precise meters that have been placed around Mac, Mount Hecla in recent years. Uh, the professor says that all these movements are seen in all five meters, and even though the evidence is not conclusive, they, they are thought to show magma movement under the volcano. And it has now been 11 years since Mount Hecla, Iceland's most famous volcano, erupted. In the years since, the mountain is said to have slowly expanded because of magma buildup. So it's like a big pimple up there in the very active Iceland Tau. So uh, we've got another volcano in Iceland gearing up, ready to go. Uh, United States crews gain fighting in New Mexico's wildfires. Now they're fearing the floods as the monsoon as their monsoon season kicks in. Uh, Santa Fe, as firefighters may progress, progress saving Indian Pueblo lands on the north end of New Mexico's largest wildfires, officials worried on Monday about the possible second punch from Mother Nature, flash floods. And uh, weather, floods, landslides, threatened. Uh, this is the Philippines, flash floods. Um, there's some districts I'm just not going to slur their names. Flash floods and landslides caused by rains to two low-pressure areas threatened parts of the Philippines, weather forecasters said on Sunday afternoon. Um, they estimate at 315 kilometers west of Calapan, Mindoro, Oriental, as of 2 p.m., uh, on the other hand, the second LPA was estimated at 850 kilometers east of Sarango City, Da, da, da. They're saying these big rain bursts can trigger flash floods and landslides. And of course we've seen all the stories on these. Uh, the United States National Weather Service tornado downburst as St. Cloud Metro. Uh, the National Weather Service said it was a weak tornado 
in uh, White Tay Park on Downburst in Northern Downtown St. Cloud Friday night that did much of the damage in the St. Cloud area. It's Minnesota, I believe. Weather Service con confirms touchdown in Douglas County. Uh, tornado touchdown in Solon Springs due to moved across the region Friday night, blah, blah, blah. And they're calling it an EF2 tornado. U.S. Deluge puts flood control in spotlight. And of course we got the Missouri River flooding and they're saying all the tributaries are backing up now because they have nowhere for this to go. And of course the dams are as open as they dare do because of the Fort Calhoun and Cooper uh, nuclear power plants are already in trouble and saturated with water. Um, they don't want to put any more water downstream in front of these nuclear power plants so all of these little tributaries that are feeding into the Missouri River are backing up now. And uh, we're in for months and months of uh, flooding here in the upper Midwest of the United States. <clears throat> More harsh winter weather in store for Ireland and the United Kingdom. And this is a story having to do with the sunspot. Uh, a number of UK-based academics have published their findings in the Journal of Environmental Research Letters. The basis of a wintry outlook is relatively cold winters in the United Kingdom and Ireland are more common when solar activity is low. The findings follow on form one of the coldest winters experienced in Ireland and Britain in more than 45 years. And again, the sun does affect our weather here on Earth. A Fairfield Township deals with sinkhole. Fairfield, Ohio, Butler County Road Engineers are trying to deal with a sinkhole that is formed at the intersection of Hamilton, Mason Road, and Morris Road in Fairfield Township. Uh, they say water main break has caused the sinkholes sometime early Saturday. They placed road closure signs, barricades at the intersection to turn motorists away. Engineers say the intersection will be closed until repairs are made sometime next week. A uh, small 3.2 magnitude quake strikes southwest of Provo, uh, Utah. New Zealand, no damage from strong 6.5 magnitude quake. A uh, 6.5 magnitude earthquake west of Tapau this afternoon was felt widely through the North and South Islands, but no damage has been reported. And again, New Zealand's on that plate line of uh, the Ring of Fire, and they are not catching any break whatsoever. They got a couple pages. And uh, the decline of agriculture. And again, this is talking about the floods and the, and the crop damage here in the United States and around the world with uh, all this crazy weather we've been having. Over to the Extinction Protocol and they've got the, I the Iceland's uh, Mount Helkla volcano story. Crews fighting the New Mexico wildfires of course. More rain, less snow leads to faster Arctic ice melt. And uh, of course more fresh water changes the salination and the pH level of the ocean which affects the the Gulf Stream, the jet stream, and uh, all the crazy weather. It's just like a, a compiling thing going on. Tons of mysterious smelly seaweed blankets beaches in Sierra, Le Sierra Leone. Massive piles of seaweed have washed a sword along Sierra Leone's coastline, covering the white sands and rising fears for tourism and fishery industry, officials said on Monday. People should stay away until we determine through the lab test whether these weeds are toxic and harmful to human beings. And this stuff is really thick, it's really stinky, um, and they're saying it might be caused due to oil production out to sea, and they're not really sure. And again, um, the fishermen can't even go out because their, their boats are getting snagged up. They can't even go out to fish. 27 killed in landslide after days of torrential rains in the Philippines. Uh, town pond in East Hampton Village turns fluorescent green. And New York uh, town pond in the heart of East Hampton Village has turned bright green. What caused the changing colors remains a phenomenon, according to Mayor Paul Rickenbach Jr. He said uh, he noticed the changing colors last Friday and Saturday when the color of the pond turned fluorescent. He reached out to officials for answers. <clears throat> and uh, they're not really sure. And one guy's 
without seeing it, saying it's, of course, it's some kind of bacteria. I remember last summer uh, there was a river in Canada that turned fluorescent green. So if this is connected or whatnot, I'm not exactly sure. And um, scientists warn volcanoes in Australia are long overdue for eruption, along with many other volcanoes around the planet. Uh, as another fear piece, just saying, yes, there are volcanoes down in Australia as well. And food production challenged by more frequent bouts of extreme weather, of course. And finally, on the RSOE tonight, we're going to, um, let me find it here. Still got the fires going on in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico. <clears throat> uh, landslides in China. Da, da, da. Looks like that's about it for me tonight. And again, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, thanks everybody for your help. And uh, enjoy what you can. We'll see you.